Well, Brian and Kelly, it is all quiet here at the administrative offices at UC Davis, but the word is quickly beginning to spread throughout campus, especially thanks to social media. Now, although Katehi released a statement earlier today saying she was committed to serving as chancellor, the university now says Katehi may have violated several UC policies, raising questions about issues like the campus's employment and compensation of some of her immediate family members, the potential improper use of student fees and her involvement in contracts related to managing the campuses and her personal reputation on social media. UC President Janet Napolitano will appoint an independent outside investigator to conduct the investigation and submit a report before the next school year. In a statement, President Napolitano said, quote, Davis is a strong campus, nationally and internationally renowned in many academic disciplines. I'm confident of the campus's continued ability to thrive and serve California students and the Davis community. Here's what students are saying tonight. I think she she might be amazing as a woman. She brought a lot of STEM things to UC Davis, but taking um, money from other boards and doing the textbook things, I think that's not okay. She already earns a lot. And um, just taking more money and being greedy, that's not what a good leader does at UC Davis. So I think it's about time. I think she could take some time. I think it's the right thing. Um, people are obviously very angry with her. I think her like being on the board, I guess, was the most problematic thing. So I guess it's right that it should be investigated further. Now, pressure has been ramping up here on campus for Katehi to resign, and she was not seen anywhere here today. We're told that in her place while she's absent, UC Davis Provost Ralph Hexter will be filling her role as chancellor. Reporting live in Davis, Natalie Brunel, KCRA 3 News.